How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffle Rallet and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're going to be doing a top 5 video where we're going to be counting down the top 5 Pokemon that should exist. Now these are going to be creations from DeviantArt and from different places where amazing artists have created fake Pokemon that really are just crazy good looking and that definitely should exist in Pokemon. So today we're going to be counting down five of them and I want to know your opinions down below. Of course, do also make sure to check the description for the links to all of these creations, all their sites and whatnot and go show them some love, go give them some likes and all those things and follows. So please do that. Links are going to be down below. Either way, let's get right into number five. Number five. Now, Color Up Fair is going to be a creation by T. Recuse, which is honestly just amazing. It's a flying snake Fakemon, and it has got two evolutions, the first stage and the second stage. Now, the first stage is described as being called uh, Slithorn, uh, which is a Viper Pokemon. It's got its poison type, and its bright colors warn foes of how potent its venom is, which is really cool, kind of, a, like, kind of a cool of a concept if you think about it, because if you imagine, like, in Pokemon, there are certain Pokemon that have different patterns on them, depending on, like, just different, like, algorithm type things going on with the Pokemon games. And so, imagine we had a Pokemon like this, where you actually, like, scale its, you know, maybe damage output or its special attack or something like that, based on its coloring, like, how much red it has on its, like, body. That would be pretty darn cool, man, or, like, how bright colors, like, it has on its body, like, maybe that kind of describes how much poison it has in it, or if it's really, really poisonous or not. I think that's a really cool concept, and I kind of like that ID. And not just that, but its actual evolution is also pretty cool. And it's called Araconda, which, of course, is a, you know, kind of a mixture between the word um, arrow, which is, you know, flying and whatnot, and conda being from the word, or, like, the animal anaconda. And this is honestly a pretty cool, like, Pokemon gen in general. Like, the name is badass, and it's known as the Glide Snake Pokemon. Uh, its typings are poison and flying, which makes a lot of sense and it's described as, as it flies by channeling hot air under its hood, which is really cool, the concept. So under its, well, I mean, hood or whatnot, and there's, like, flappy parts on it, I guess through that it channels, like, like you know, heat, that then it, like, condenses, and then it can just fly through that. It's a pretty cool concept and a really nice ID. And the overall, like, kind of just the way it looks, looks really cool. I do think, though, it looks more like a cobra than a anaconda, which, I mean, just by, by the way it looks like. Um, but I don't know, guys. What do you guys think about that? I honestly think it's a pretty cool concept and genuinely a really cool ID, because I wouldn't mind myself another snake Pokemon. At least something like this would be cool, because I don't think we really have much of a kind of uh, a snake Pokemon this kind of style, and honestly, a poison flying type wouldn't be too bad. I, I mean, I wouldn't complain. So that's going to be it for this one, lads. Let's go to the next one on the list. Number four. Now, the next Fakemon on the list is actually going to be a sprite drawing and not a normal, like, digital art drawing, which I really think does look cool, though. And this one was created by Zeno Striker, who created a really cool concept for a Pokemon called uh, Anibuits, Buits, uh, which has got two evolutions, uh, two stages. The first one being called Anbi, which is a little, you know, bipedal, like, not bipedal, but, um, you know, on all fours type of Pokemon that then evolves into a Pokemon that is bipedal, which looks really cool. It's a dark fighting type, and it kind of reminds me a bit of Lucario in just the way it looks like, but I do love it, though. It, it just kind of, I don't know, somewhere like Lucario, uh, Zoroark, kind of that style, but I do think it's a definitely cool concept, and I just love the way it looks. Like, the first evolution is quite cute and just, you know, time, tiny and timid, and I do think maybe this part of the evolution should just be a dark type and not a fighting type as well, but then once it evolves, the fighting type should be given to it. I just feel like that could maybe balance it out a bit, but overall, the actual style of it looks nice, I do think it's a cool concept, and I definitely wouldn't mind myself something like this, because, I mean, I love Pokemon like Lucario, Zoroark, those type of Pokemon, they're always really cool and badass, so something like that, again, would not be, like, I wouldn't deny that, I would love that, and especially something like this. Also, I just love the contrast between the really, really, like, light, dark color with the beautiful yellow on its, like, uh, mane. It's just so cool, man. I love that. And also, you know, a tad bit of blue here and there and a tad bit of orange. All that mixed in together is beautiful. I love it. And I also do love its, and like, evolution. Evolution, sorry. Evolution, like, it looks badass. It is just so cool, man. It reminds me, like I said, a lot of Zoroark and Lucario. Like, those two in one. Like, it's perfect. But that's going to be it for this one, lads. Let's go to the next one on the list. Number three. Now, Color Next is going to be a creation by Fatmon on DeviantArt, and this guy makes a lot of crazy creations, but this is definitely one of the cooler ones that I've seen that I really think just 
like it's really interesting just looking at it so just the general design here is a bit creepy it's not maybe one of the most cute things or most like you know badass looking things but it's got a pretty interesting concept behind it now the thing is this is a, like basically based of a, a tiki uh, or a tiki mask or one of those things and its concept is a tiki faker mon that's essentially what it's based uh, you know around that's kind of it's you know basic concept is that it's a tiki faker mon and what i like about it is that it just it's so different from anything we really have like i don't know what to kind of like compare this with the only th other pokemon i can think of that's even similar slightly it's something like unknown and unknown is pretty useless but imagine something like that or maybe this could have some correlation with unknown with the eye and whatnot because they look very similar maybe this is a different version of like unknown but in like something like the alola region this would be pretty cool to see so overall i do think it's a great concept it does have a pokedex entry that was made here and i do kind of want to go through that really quickly so the pokedex entry states that according to scientists kokono kokonochi was a warrior race of ancient pokemon that was long thought of to be extinct 4500 years ago until a recent discovery of these pokemon were found in ruins of an ancient civilization those pokemon speaks in a language that even pokemon can't decipher nor humans Kukunochi uh, uh, will bail, uh, bravely fight to protect their homeland. So basically, this would be like one of those ancient Pokemon, maybe even a fossil type Pokemon it could work as, because I do think the concept is really nice. It's a bit weird, it's really on the weird side, but I do like it though. Uh, especially, you know, it's it's just a basic grass type. I do love some grass types, so I wouldn't mind this. Plus, it would fit well with something like the Alola region, you know, it's kind of based on Hawaii, so, you know, why not have something like that? We know, Tiki Masks and Tiki Pokemon like this. Uh, but either way, that's going to be it for that one, lads. Let's go to the next one on the list. Number two. Now, coming up next is going to be Darinette, the Sting Fakemon, created by Smiley Fakemon. Now, the reason I want this one is because we already have Vespiqueen, and, you know, it's, it's Vespiqueen. But why can't we have a evolution for combi, like male combis, that is a more, you know, fem like a male, sorry, a more male type of, uh, you know, bee or whatnot. And Darinite is the Sting Pokemon, like, it literally fits that, like, you know, that thing just perfectly. Now its name name is pretty interesting as well. It is a mixture between the word Mandarinia plus Hornet. And Hornet, you guys know what Hornet sound, whatnot. And uh, Mandarini Ninja, I'm not really sure exactly what the word means, but I have a vague idea of it. Now the typing is pretty weird here. It's a bug fighting type. Now I assume the uh, fighting type part comes in the fact that it does have like kind of uh I don't know if these are double arms or whatnot, but it's like it's longer arms. They're really really long and they could be used to like punch the shit out of something. So it would make sense having that. Plus it does have that thing to sting with so maybe something would work there of course it is a bug type because it is a bug so that makes a lot of sense but overall i, lo I do love the concept and i just want to see maybe you know the equivalent to Vespi Queen coming sooner or later. I want to see the equivalent. And this honest design here, like, honestly, this design is just perfect for that sort of thing. I think it would work su like superbly. It would be awesome. But that's going to be it for this one, lads. Let's go to the number one spot on this list. Number one. Now, coming up next is going to be a very interesting concept that I think would work perfectly. Now, I would preferably actually want this to be more of a dolphin, but this isn't a dolphin. And again, this was made by Smiley Fakemon, so definitely check him out. But uh, here we got ourselves uh, Chrysalis, the Moondrawn Fakemon, which is basically a shark Pokemon. Now, we do already have shark Pokemon. We have, you know... Um, Sharpedo and whatnot, but what if we got ourselves something in this style, or maybe just change this over and kind of make it in a different style where it looks a bit more like a dolphin? Because I wanted a dolphin Fakemon for ages, but honestly, I wouldn't mind myself another like shark one, especially the one like this. Because look at this thing, it looks adorable. Now, we all know sharks, we usually, when you think of sharks, they you know they're dangerous, we see them as predators, we're afraid of them and whatnot, but then you have something like this, which could work as a more of a cute option. Now, what's really cool about this one is that Chrysalis is a mixture between the word crescent, which, uh, if you guys don't know, it's like the, you know, the crescent shape on its tail, and then also a really wrong, wrong name here for the, I guess it's a white shark, I'm not really sure if that's what it exactly is, but uh, Trianodon uh, Apical Apicalasis? Calis? Apicalis? It's a really long name here, but is essentially the name for, I guess, white shark, uh, as far as I know, white white tip reef shark, that's the name, there you go. So that's basically what it's based on, it's uh, typing would be water and fairy, which is really interesting, because, like, seriously, it is very interesting, and I assume the water, like, the fairy typing is clearly because it does have, like, kind of that, you know, the pinky little thing about its, like, eye and whatnot, and it does seem like the sort of Pokemon that would make sense in that sort of typing, especially with the way it's kind of made up, like, the way it looks like, it just gives you that feeling that like this could be a fairy type Pokemon. I don't know if it's just me, but I do feel like that fits it well. And overall, this design 
design is actually pretty darn good. I do think it's lovely. I really love it, and I want to see something like this happen. I do not mind myself another shark Pokemon. I would, of course, prefer a dolphin one, as dolphin just, it's nothing been about, like, dolphins in Pokemon yet. So I want to see a dolphin Pokemon more than anything, but I wouldn't mind myself something like this as well. And I personally find this to be the number one spot because it looks beautiful. That's going to be it for today, lads. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, then do smash the like button below, and do also make sure to check out our other videos, and do make sure to also check out the designers in the links in the description down below. Either way, thank you so much for today's video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.